Good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to my channel again. We are spending the day in the greenhouse together. This is my third video for you. So I don't know if I'm going to um, link these together or name it part one, two, three, four. Um, but anyways, there. this is um, a video on catacetums. It's a catacetum update. So I was asked to do one. Uh, I thought, you know what, that's a great idea. I haven't done one in a while. And so here we are. Anyways, for whatever reason, I thought I had four, but I can only find three. Um, so I don't have very many, but um, which is why I don't do videos on them super often. But anyways, I thought I would start with this guy here. Um, this is my Catacetum planiceps. We have seen this guy bloom before. Um, he's doing really well this year. He had a repotting in January this year. All my orchids got repotted over the winter time. It was a very, very busy time in the greenhouse for me. I always like pick at the sheaths while I'm talking. It was a very busy time in the greenhouse for me, repotting all these guys. But hopefully next winter, because I, I repot every second year. By the second year, I start to kind of get worried. Um, but this year, next winter, I'm going to have lots of lots of time on my hands, hopefully. I won't be repotting anyways. So this guy was totally repotted. We have two new growths on him. I also seen, saw, discovered today, somewhere I think it was this one. Maybe it wasn't this one. I thought I seen a new bud. But um, maybe it wasn't this guy. Hmm. Nope. No new buds on this guy. But what I will say, so we got two new bulbs. We got two new growths down there. One here and one here that are going to turn into something eventually. Um, not going to be blooming size for a while. But the roots have exploded. This thing is solid roots. I've never seen such healthy roots on this plant as I have this year. And again, if you've been watching my last couple of videos that I've done today, we've talked a lot about orchids and humidity and orchids and moss and, and basically roots in general. There's been a root topic today. So um, we're going to continue with this. And the roots are just amazing. So I'm really happy with this root growth. Happy roots, happy plant, right? This root got a little bit destroyed because it was sticking to the vinyl when I lifted it up. Now it looks like it is bark down here for drainage and then a moss mix or moss, it looks like straight moss to me on the top anyway. So I can't remember because it was last January what exactly I was doing. Um, but I know from this year from all my repotting, again I, I touched base on this in the last video, I started using a lot more moss in my mixes to make sure the roots and everything are getting enough water and thought I will use more moss and less water and it's actually just going to save me time. The other thing with moss is it doesn't seem to break down as fast as bark. Bark really starts to deteriorate quickly. Um, but I did in all of my um, pots, and you're not going to be able to see this well because it's fairly ancient. That is a piece of oyster shell. I have a mixture around of oyster shell and dolomite lime that I put a little bit in each pot. Um, the dolomite lime doesn't dissolve unless the pH is going too acidic. And the oyster shell, it does dissolve and makes it... Um, less acidic as well as well as provide some calcium magnesium as does the dolomite so they're getting sort of a all my plants all my orchids are getting a more of a constant source of calcium magnesium and i'm sort of maintaining that ph i, I really fear a ph crashing i don't like the idea of that that's why we bleh, that's why we repot in the first place right because the media breaks down and gets too acidic and then rots the roots so other than that, I've increased the humidity in my greenhouse, so the roots are just exploding out the sides. So it's amazing. And you can tell that um, it was facing this way because it's growing towards the light. It's growing towards you guys right now. The roots are growing out the back end of it. And even the few that did make it out the front are like doing 180s and starting to head back towards the shade. Because the roots really like the, the shade and the leaves really like the sun. But we'll put that guy down. And luckily there's only three, so it's not going to take too long. This one is everybody's favorite, is my um, Millennium Magic Witchcraft, which does have a spike on it already. Again, I found this today when we were pulling it all out. So these guys, all three of them, because we haven't seen the third one yet, were sitting at about the two and a half, three foot mark, three shells down on the south wall, but in quite a bit. They had um, filtered sunlight from other plants. So, and they're all growing warm. They're all growing on the warm side. If you look at the pseudobulb on this guy, we have a record size pseudobulb compared to the other years. So that's fantastic. I'm kind of disappointed that um, with this record size pseudobulb, I only have one, um, one spike. But in previous years, I've had two. On this bulb, I can see two old spikes. But in the bulb, it's like so much smaller. But anyways, it's doing well. Both of these, all of these are going to eventually lose their leaves. 
as um, the weather starts to cool and that. Don't let that worry you. They do seem to keep them, at least for me, quite a bit longer than I expect them to. Um, they go through their flowering stage with their leaves and then for the dead of winter they um, just turn into little eggs in a basket sort of thing. But look at the size of that bulb. That's amazing. So this one was repotted in January as well. It feels really tight now. It feels like there's a lot of roots in there. Um, none of these had poor roots to start with, but um, it's not quite got the root growth of the last one, but it does have the spike. So I would say this one's winning, really. But yeah, so there is my Millennium Magic Witchcraft. And as long as I don't break the spike off at some point, we will have um, a spike. Now, if I can gently put those down. They're also top heavy. And this one here is my Cycnodes Orchid. It's, um, it gets a whole lot stickier than the rest, I find. A whole lot stickier. But anyways, this guy was not repotted. This was repotted in October 2015. So last fall, not to this spring. And it was about December, January that I had that sort of um, epiphany that I wanted to use more moss and less bark. So this one you'll see is still in my old mix and it's doing just fine in there. Um, lots of good roots. They're heading straight down into the mix though, looking for moisture as opposed to um, coming out and about everywhere. Um, so that's a little bit different, but um, the bark's doing fine. I still have the oyster shell in there um, for a little bit of calcium in that. And I'm noticing here, we do have a spike starting on this one. So this is the Cygnodes Wine Delight, it's called. And we have a spike. So two out of three are starting to spike. The other one that's not in spike has bloomed before, so I don't expect any problems with him. Um, it's just a matter of when he's going to do it. I feel it's still pretty early in the year maybe for um, spikes. Usually they're winter bloomers or springtime bloomers even for me. So keeping them in the warm side, they've um, really been able to grow nicely over the spring and the summer. Uh, we'll keep that trend going into the fall. When you see these kind of spikes on these ones, I always bring them down. I didn't grow them super sunny this year at all, but I'm going to bring them lower because um, there's more chance of it being a male and more beautiful flower if it is in the shade at this point. So th they're all going to go quite low, just kind of be um, cooler for the warm side and uh, much shadier. But yeah, so those are my um, Catacetum family of orchids or as somebody corrected me in one of my last comments that I read um, a few days ago. Orchids are the family and this is the, the genera. So anyways, these are my catacetums. I don't like to get technical about it. It's, it just is what it is. I'm, I'm just a happy-go-lucky grower, right? So there we go. I hope you like this video. And if you want to see updates on these guys, they will certainly be in greenhouse updates when they're blooming. And if you want to see these guys in bloom, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.